All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Undisputed video. So I fancy playing as some lighter weights today. It's probably going to go welters. And I don't think I've... Uh, maybe I've played as in once, but I think I've only used Kelbrook at least once. So I would mind giving him another try. And we'll have a Kelbrook and a Mia Khan face-off. I think I've only used Khan once as well, actually, when it was when he first dropped. Yeah, sorry, released. What am I fucking living in the States? Release, not drop. Yeah, I think I'll have to give all these fighters I've only used the once over on the showcase videos another go. Uh, let's go to... Falco. See what this is like on my new system. I haven't actually tried this yet. I'd always get problems with it. The, out, well, the, the outdoor arenas in particular. Uh, undisputed difficulty. Just bumped the damage modifier up by one. So no, so we're not here for fucking twelve rounds, smashing each other's face in with no uh, <laughs> with no danger. Tommy Morrison. I'll have to give him another try as well. Another one who I've only used once for a showcase video, Welcome and that's to it. to the WBC Arena. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Introducing first, he is Special K, Kel Brook, the former welterweight champion of the world, fighting out of Sheffield, England. Still patiently waiting on a <laughs> on a base code for UFC five. By the way, I don't think um, I don't think they're going to give me one. <laughs> I don't think I've not exactly been too kind to the game, have I? When I've been speaking about it, I've put up fucking two videos roasting the developers, and then you know, just uh, most of the things I put up about UFC five have been criticisms. So I don't think. Uh, I don't think I'll be getting one. Uh, I basically got the, the beta might even be over now. How long is it even available for? Like a couple of days, a week? I'm not sure. Do you know what? It's probably to their benefit that they didn't give me a code because I'll be honest with you, I had every intention of uploading gameplay, and I know you weren't supposed to do that, but oh, I wouldn't want EA to to punish me by not letting me have access to future betas. God, that would be te fucking terrible, wouldn't it? I was fully gonna upload gameplay I had it all set up ready to go like all minutes I'm just gonna record the gameplays you know, I, I don't give a shit what are they gonna do just stop you stop you accessing a beta in two years time for UFC 6 who gives a fuck this is one of those but uh, yeah, it's probably just as well that they didn't give me a code because now I don't get to, to play the game and I don't get to record it and upload gameplay you, you've, you've beat me to it, EA. I'll, I'll get you next time. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square up. Here we go. Let's see what Kel is like against Glass Chin, Amir Khan. I think I the, the only boxer match I ever went to live was at the MEN Arena. Um, is it even called the MEN anymore? The Manchester Evening News Arena? I don't even think it's called that, is it? And it was Amir Khan versus Breedis Prescott. And Amir Khan got fucking brutally knocked out. Um, and the, the crowd was like fucking shocked. <laughs> like fucking... That was the first, oh, first and only boxing match I've ever been to live. I've been to a couple of UFC events. Uh, another one at the MEN. That was UFC 70. Uh, Nations Collide, it was. Mirko Krokop and Gabriel Gonzaga in the main event. Oh, big left up there. And Gonzaga brutally KO'd Krokop with a head kick. Krokop's leg went all funny when he landed. Um, I remember that very clearly. Oh! Khan already in trouble. I think Michael, Michael Bispin fought on that card. It might have been his. It might have fought a. It might have been Elvis Sinisic. I can't remember. I think Elvis Sinisic definitely fought on that card. I think Arlovsky fought on that card. I think Verdum fought on the card. I actually went to the weigh-ins and everything. And I was like a few feet away from Verdum. He was getting like mobbed by people. I was about like three people deep away from him. And just seeing the heavyweights in person, you, you don't 
you don't appreciate when you're watching them on telly how fucking big they are. You know, Vadum's head looked like a fucking fridge. You know, it was like so fucking wide. Like, I couldn't believe it, like the size of his fucking head. But that doesn't, it doesn't come across that way on the telly, like the size of, the, of their frames as heavyweights, you know. But uh, yeah, UFC 70, um, and then I went to one in Newcastle. It was around the, the 80s, the, I can't remember which one. Um, I fucking got drunk for that one, and I can barely fucking remember it, but I remember loads about UFC 70. Uh, and then I think I went to watch another one in London, and I think I was fucking drunk for that one as well. And that was at the O2 Arena, I think. I don't remember much. I think I remember Joe Stevenson fought on one of them in the main event, I think. Might have been the Newcastle one, but I think I've been to at least three UFC events live. And the first first UFC pay-per-view I ever watched, like on pay-per-view, like I didn't um, obviously go to watch it live in attendance, but the first one I ever watched live and enjoyed, stayed up all night for, was UFC 47. That was the very first one. I was Chuck Liddell versus Tito Ortiz. Uh, Nick Diaz and Robbie Lawler were on that card as well. So I've been, uh, been watching the UFC for a long, long time. I was watching it like for a while before that, but I, did, I, I had no means of watching the pay-per-views. It was we went to a friend's house and we we chipped in for it once we realised they had. I think it was Satanta Sport at the time. It used to air on Satanta Sport, and I don't think Satanta is around no more. But yeah, fucking the last going way back whenever UFC 47 was. Like in the like 2003 or 4 or something like that, maybe. But yeah, only one boxing match I've been to. Actually, looks nice this venue on the new laptop. Not one bit of stuttering, which is great. There fucking shouldn't be any stuttering. The money I paid for this fucking laptop. It's definitely performing really well. I'm really pleased with it so far after about like what, two weeks of use. Not only are my games looking shit hot, and I can play them. I mean, I, I, I play it, only play it fucking 1080p. I only want, I just want 1080p, 60 FPS. I don't really care about anything more than that. I'd rather have like a stable frame rate for, for myself than than resolution. But uh, another bonus about the laptop is when it's rendering me videos. Fucking hell, it renders them so fucking quick. Well, a lot quicker than the other laptop anyway. It's just saving me all that extra time. Waiting for Sony Vegas to, to finish the video. So it's got a pretty decent... Uh, oh, a big left up there. Pretty decent processor. Oh, beautiful little slip off to the right there. Right up cut to the body, followed by the left up right straight. Khan taking some shots here, fucking hell. Khan's AI's a fucking pushover, I'm having no fucking trouble here against Khan's AI. I'm fucking chatting shit, flapping my gums, fucking smoking a cigarette, and I'm having no... I'm not smoking a cigarette, I'm just being... I'm having an easy time. Watch him fucking sleep me now with some kind of dice roll fucking bullshit knockout. Oh, left up around the side of the head there. Oh, and a left up finally puts him down off that right upper cuff. He blocked that though. Bang. Khan got his sponsors on the soles of his shoes. <laughs> the canvas kid. I really hope down the line, I mean, there's a lot of, like I say, I say a lot with this game, there's as much as sort of, I'm willing to give it a chance and, you know, support it through its development and like feature it on the channel and stuff like that. It still needs a lot of work and I hope this slipping mechanic, they fucking do away with this because it's fucking dog shit. I think they should just use this, they hold the L2, 
trigger and do this, but make the make the range of movements more extreme. Have them bending the knees a bit more. But this fucking clicking the stick in bullshit and the it's just I, I just don't think it works all that well. You know, I just rather have the freedom of movements of being able to plant me plant me feet and then just move in a in a bigger range of movement than this. You know, you know, there's not I, I want to slip using the left stick not by clicking a fucking button in. I know you can change the the uh, the configuration in the in the controls to just flick the stick and that, but I just feel like like a a lean system that have has been in other games that is sort of like tried and tested would be a better way to go but i don't know if they'll if they'll do that you know, sticking with this or at least give us the option to change it you know like options are always good i like i, I love having options in games and different ways to, to do settings and stuff like that so at least give us the option but I just don't think it's very uh, all that useful. I don't use this all that much. And even if I do slip a punch, sometimes the AI will just like slip my counter, and it's it just becomes a game of trying to counter the counter, and then counter in that counter. You know, it's just I think this is just a, a bit more fl like playing the fight night games and stuff. Just being able to slip like just a quick slip with the, with the feet planted and then counter it again is just like. It just feels a bit more, I don't know, more practical. And he just missed with that left jab. Oh, digging right up a cut to the body there. Misses with that jam. A very competitive round. I tend to like burn a lot of my stamina out anyway, using like the this kind of slipping. You know, and that's somewhat realistic, you know, if you've ever you know hit pads or sparred or or whatever, even boxed, like, like slipping is a very um it can be exhausting, you know, like to slip constantly and um, like head movements and changing your level like this and rolling underneath shots, it's tiring, like, you know, me and Mrs. Mrs. Liver shot, oh, nice pull there, see, I pulled there using the, the L2, not doing this, and I, I still managed to counter them fine with the counter double cut there, but yeah, slipping and uh, rolling and things like that, very exhausting, gotta be like fit to do that stuff, and me and Mrs. Liver shot are always beasting us, beach it, beasting each other with slips and rolls when we're holding pads for each other you know doing a roll to me is like fucking doing like a squat and it's just fucking hell I really feel that it feel that in my legs when we're training oh nice one two there oh and a liver shot there off the one two bang love that Oh, just tucked it under the elbow there. Nice shot. Nice liver shot. One, two, three, four, five, six. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then boom. Back in the same spot. Oh, that looks up there with a good combination. Oh, lovely liver shot. Off that pivot to the left there. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. Oh, he got caught with a nice uppercut there and the left hook after it. Oof, big power straight. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Like I'm just realizing now as well, like I, I never ever use the loose movement in this game. Like I, I was using it when 
when the beta first dropped, like I was messing around with it then, but I just never tend to use it. I don't, I don't really see any any benefit to doing it apart from just. Oh, I mean, I've just turned it on now. Like you know, you get a bit of a different movement. Oh, big left up bit. Oh, nice left up right straight. Looks like they're out of trouble. Hands with the right counter. Oh, little cheeky uppercut there off the pull. The exchange in the pocket there. How did they survive that? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made. Oh, nice counter up a good there from me. We hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fighters like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell? Oh, he hit me then. See that? I only just noticed the icon there. He did, did get to me there. And again, hit me again. Fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out. I think what they, didn't they initially say with the loose movements? It's like you can, has decided, I can walk through, like the, it's the chance of like a percentage chance of doing more damage, but you can also have that same percentage chance against you to be hurt. Like I'm pretty sure that's what it, what they initially like said about it. And obviously you get like to, you get like slightly different movement style. But I'm sure that's what it was. That left counter punch to score. Oh, that uppercut hurt him. Oh, nice head movement by him here. Oh, Bumpy with no stamina there. You'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. There. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed. Oh, lovely advantage. combination there. Liver so shot right straight and a left off. My favorite one of my favorites. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got him. Oh, lovely counter uppercut. Oh, nice three piece there, one two, and then the left hook. One more knockdown in him, and we might get him out of it. And this fight continues. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Final ten seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Oh, that right up the cut of the body again off that side, step to the right. Still not getting that many cuts happening. Like, I think they've had like a bunch of different changes with the cuts, like, or like, increase the chance that you get them, but I just don't seem to get them all that often. It's like very rare I get cuts now. Like, same for the swelling as well, like. Down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. 
Punch, counter punch. Just a movement there from Amir. Starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you... Oh, trying to get him with that power uppercut. Right back into the fray. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. at the halfway point of this round and both of these fighters have had their moments still could go either way good counter punching for both these athletes nice job oh there's that liver shot hand again hand. off the pivot to the left there oh, oh hard power straight connect they both want the knockout Oh, left up, of course, up the middle. Oh, firing back when he's hit. Oh, a little left up, of course, with the body at the end. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come up and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. Oh, and a left up right straight. Thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Oh, went for the power up, of course. Didn't land. He beat me to it. Boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden. Oh, it's a nice combination. Oh, and a little one-two. We had no more block left. Cocaine jaw going back and forth. <laughs> Little short right straight off the jab. One, two, three. This might be it. That's it, it's, it's over. All right, thanks very much for watching, everyone. I'm going to leave it there. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.